Okay. Hi. All right. Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to the Building Yourself Laboratory, the Mechanical Garden uh, crew. So um, first, let me say uh, I, I, we we were so impressed with your um, your projects, the flapping bird and the and the beautifully decorated uh, mechanical garden with uh, flowers and grass. Uh, you guys really um, really took uh, this project and took it to the next level. Very very nice work. So we are so anxious now that we've seen what you've done to record your project on a video that um, we could post on our in our Hall of Fame and and so our our goal today is to put you in a position to make videos of your projects and and get them on the Build Yourself in the Build Yourself Hall of Fame. Okay, to that end, um, generally when you have something really cool that you want to show off, often, or you want to attract attention, often you need a sign to let everyone, let everyone know that you're there, right? So I assume you've all been to a McDonald's and McDonald's has a, has a really bright, big sign that attracts attention. It's not the building that attracts attention. It's really the sign that att attracts attention. So the building and the food inside is the, is the attraction, but it's the sign that gets you to stop and, and go inside. So the same thing with your mechanical garden. You may have a really cool mechanical garden, but if you, don't, um, if you don't have a big sign up front that says what it's about or attracts attention, your mechanical garden may not get the attention it deserves. Everyone get that, right? Okay. So we're going to review. I know we've done graffiti before, but we're going to review a little graffiti. And our mission today, one of our missions today, is the garden sign. So I think we started graffiti in your PowerPoint lab book. So you have a quick overview of letters that may attract the attention, graffiti letters. And then I think we talked about putting our signs on uh, on a border, a colorful border. So once you print them out, you might mount the, the printed paper on a, on a colored piece of paper to make it stand out more. But we would like you guys to make graffiti out of, out of junk. So here, what? That, exactly. So hold on to your suspenders. Here it comes. We're going to make graffiti letters out of junk. And here's a Build It Yourself sign. Here's a sign that says wild things. And it's part junk and part uh, hand-drawn graffiti. So the T, for example, in wild things is made from Lego. And the circle on the G is made from a big bolt, I think, or excuse me, nut or a washer. And the, the eye in Thanes is made from a pencil. So what? <laughs> you could make a graffiti sign for your mechanical garden that has some combination of hand-drawn letters and junk. Here's a graffiti sign made from bottle caps. Mm -hmm. The R, for example, has two bottle caps. Mm -hmm a blue one and a white one, and then a pencil for the straight line. And then the top for the uh, arm on the R. And this S is made from, these are little plastic uh, strips that come when you uh, open a bottle sometimes 
a bottle of orange juice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are plastic strips that you have to tear off to get the cap off. That's what these are. And then there's a little bead at the end that sort of make a tariff on the font. It's nice when your fonts have what, what are called serifs, like the red parts in the T are called a serif and they kind of end the line. <laughs> and here's that, here's a robot sign. These letters actually move. <gasps> made Lego contraptions. When you turn the Lego motors on, the letters turn and wag and, um, and it becomes a really interesting moving, moving wow. graffiti. This is a really interesting sign that was made by some teachers and they wanted to put on the door of their classroom, mind expansion lab. And expansion, they made a piece of paper and they folded it and then they tied strings to the end of it and they had a motor here so that this uh, expansion came out and then went back. So it was like an accordion. It went in and out. So it'd be really cool if you could make your graffiti sign that says mechanical garden so that when you pull a string, something moves. That would be really neat. And here's a mechanical garden sign. And look at how nicely it's decorated, how colorful it is. All made from junk. So they have some flowers and grass all hot glued onto a big white poster board. John, and are we putting this mechanical garden sign in our video? Yeah, 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 yeah. We want you to have a video that maybe has a big mechanical garden sign, like the McDonald's okay. sign that you zoom in on, and then you zoom out maybe, and then you see your, your mechanical garden. Okay. So you have to pretend you're a Hollywood producer and you have like a, a, title, a title frame on your video that explains what the video is about. And then you zoom into the video and tell the story. Does that make sense? Okay. Ms. Karina, Mariana? Karina? All, all part of the production of yes. making the video. That's excellent. I just want to see if the children are getting what they have to do. So kids, please, with the reaction thing at the bottom of your screen, thumbs up if you know exactly what you have to do now, if you understood what you have to do in your video. And if you understood that you have to do a video right now. So hey, thumbs up. You can understand. Okay. I will explain to you again. So pay attention, children. Listen carefully. Please turn your microphones off because there's a lot of noise and we get distracted with other things. Okay, Microsoft, microphones off and listen carefully. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Kuhn. Thank you. What we have to do now, next activity build it in Build It Yourself in Mechanical Garden is we must record a video. I still hear microphones on. Please microphones off everybody. Thank, thank you. you. So, you must record a video of everything you have done with your mechanical garden. Remember, you built some flowers. We built the animal that moves the wings with, the, with all the instructions that John sent to us last time. And then, this time, you have to build the sign that says mechanical garden. A, a nice sign using your uh, high-quality junk. You're going to build your sign, and that is included in the video. You are really creative, and I know because they have sent many videos to me of what they've done in class, John, uh -huh. and they really are creative with, with their devices. Cool. So I know they're going to do very nice things. Um, I don't know if we're going to ask them for a specific um, a program to use, but, uh, well, those of those of the kids who have iPads, they know perfectly well how to use the iMovie and they do very nice yeah. things using that, putting signs on. I mean, they really know how to, how to use that. So I don't know if we will uh, tell them a specific program to do the, the video or just 
let it free and we have a very good video making tool that you can use right on your cell phone mm -hmm. uh, called TikTok. Okay. Uh, but, um, we can talk about that after class and maybe you can, uh, we can help you help the kids set that up if you okay. want to use that tool. But that's the tool that all the kids in China used mm -hmm. when they okay. made their videos. But all right. It, so everybody please thumbs up if you re if you understand now what you have to do your next homework for mechanical garden did you understand what's your next homework thumbs up if you did can you see these uh letters guys they're made out of golf tees the b this d is made from uh looks like a telephone cord Here's just a series of nuts and uh, nuts and washers that are hot glued together on top of a Lego piece to make the D. So use your imagination to put premium quality junk together to make these letters. Now those of you that have lots of time and want to take your video even to the next step, you could write a song or a poem or a story around your mechanical garden. And we're gonna take you through a PowerPoint that gives you some ideas about at least uh, the way we, we think about writing a story at Build It Yourself. So it'd be great if you could narrate your video so that as you're showing the sign and your bird flapper and your, and your garden, you could recite a poem or even sing a song or tell a story around it. Uh, so let us take you through that PowerPoint. And then um, Ms. Karina and Mariana, this is a bit ambitious for one week, but uh, I'll leave it to you to, um, to uh, uh, sort of set set the bar how, how much the kids the kids should do over the week but if you're writing a story okay. if you're writing a story around your mechanical garden we like to think about breaking a story up into simple parts remember one of our problem solving tricks is when you have a tough problem to solve break it into simple parts we're going to do the same thing with a story and we're going to think of a story in terms of four modules, or four individual simple parts. Who, what, when, uh, when, where, who, and what. So, um, sorry to interrupt, John. Can sure. Brent put everybody's microphones off, please? Because I don't think some people have noticed that they have them on. I hear okay. lots sure. of noise and, and it's difficult to hear you, John. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, Brent, let me know when you have uh, Yeah, I've been muting them, but some of them keep on me. When... Okay, listen, children. Nobody can turn their microphones on unless John or Brent or Miss Mariana or I tell you to do. When we ask a question, everybody must keep their microphones off. Ian, I see your microphone on and it has to be off all the time. You hear me, Ian? Thank you. Please do that. Thank, thank you, thank you. you. I'm sorry. Okay. Great, no worries. Okay, so um, for example, very often when you start a story, you'll you'll see the title or the first line in the story once upon a time right you've all seen that so that's the when right so the first thing you might think about when you're writing a story about your mechanical garden is when is the mechanical garden it could be sometime in the future or it could be you know uh, you, you have to you have to think about how you can open your storyline with by telling the audience when is this mechanical garden um, when was it built okay so here's an example in a storyline that that talks about when by the middle of the 21st century 
man was forced to recognize that the great void of space held more intelligent life than had ever been considered likely. So you see in this enter, entering sentence of a story, they talk about when, and they even talk a little bit about where. So they sort of are combining when and where in one sentence. Here's another one that starts at 1,000 years ago. That's in the past, of course. 1,000 years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It just right away sets the stage for your mechanical garden. So think about an opening line for your story or your song or your poem that describes when it happens. Ms. Karina, do you teach English like this? I hope we're not contradicting anything that you teach. John, it's exactly what we have been doing with the kids. We just had a session about a WH questions, uh -huh. and they already know a song about what, when, where, who. They learned okay. the song, and the next step was a reading. We have been reading stories and writing stories, so they know exactly what you're talking about. Thank you. <laughs> okay, just tell me if you've already covered this, Will, we'll, uh, they can go right right to it <laughs> it's okay to do a review it's perfect okay great so um then when you talk about where um this is a uh over the horizon lies a dark depressed dangerous land so right here is a beautiful description it brings the reader right into the story over the horizon it makes you fantasize. What's over the horizon? And then a dark, depressed, dangerous land. Uh, it's very descriptive. So um, think about finding vocabulary, finding words that make the audience want to read on. Okay? And okay. then after you've described when and where, then you need to describe who are we talking about. So um, look at this introduction to describe Mario. You all know Mario, of course, right? Mario is anything but your average plumber. He saves the Mushroom King from the nefarious browser and all the while earning the love of his fair maiden, Princess Peach. So in this one sentence, they talk about who, who is involved in this storyline? Mario, the nefarious browser, and the fair maiden, Princess Peach. Mario, the plumber. So it's very, very descriptive. Make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. So maybe our character in our story can be our flapping bird? <laughs> yeah. Maybe? Or it could be a flower. A flower, okay. A flower could talk. <laughs> a flower that can talk. Ah, that's interesting. <laughs> I suspect flowers have their own have their own way of communicating. <laughs> that's okay. The way I fantasize. <laughs> or me. All right. Yes, Rafa. And oh, then... how many days they grow the flower to the bigger one? That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, I think when trees grow in the forest, they all try to grow tall so they can get the most sun. They must, they must, maybe they talk to each other in a certain way. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then you want to think about, okay, now that you've set the stage by talking, by describing who, uh, where and when, then you have to sort of get into the body of your story by saying, why are we doing the mechanical garden? And here we'd like to enter our review session. When you talk about the what, we want to talk about the problem and the mission we're solving, right? So, uh, Ms. Karina, can you ask someone to turn on their mic and, um, and tell us what the problem and the mission is. 
of okay. the mechanical garden. Please, and Maria Fernanda, turn on your microphone and tell us what is the problem in our mechanical garden? To take all the trash in the garden and make animals. Well, that's the mission. That's the perfect mission statement to take all the trash and the garbage and make a mechanical garden. It's a great, concise mission statement. Uh, well, Paulina, what's the problem? Paulina, Why can you tell us what is the problem? The problem is that there's many trash in the world. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. You can't solve a problem unless you can define it, right? So the first step in problem solving is defining the problem. So when we start your, when we do your video, you have to make a clear statement. What's the problem we're solving? Okay. I mean, you don't have to do this in any particular order. You could start with the what, the problem and the mission and then talk about the who, when, and where. So all we're asking you to do here is think about these four components of a story and then weave them together. Okay, uh, Mariana and Miss Karina, um, I, I like to put the ball in your court a little bit here. We have two projects on the table, actually three projects, one is to make the mechanical garden sign uh, to advertise your, your project and to make your video to, to sort of attract attention to want to listen to your video with a compelling opening sign. And then we might want to write a song or a poem or a story about your mechanical garden that ultimately okay. talks about the problem and the mission. Okay. John, why don't we start uh, making the mechanical garden sign? Okay, I'll just put uh, these letters on the uh, screen. Uh huh. So that if you have uh, your your box of premium quality junk next to you, what I'd suggest you have premium quality junk, boys and girls. Have what I suggest it? before you start gluing, um, maybe make a big M. Start with mechanical. And okay. just put pieces together so it looks like an M. Okay. And experiment with different pieces in your junk collection and try to coordinate the colors and the shapes such that the M really stands out. The M for mechanical and the G for garden could be the, the capital letters. The big, big letters. So children, please get all the, all the recycling material that you have, all the <coughs> premium quality junk that you have been collecting. Get it, I told you to be ready with that. Get your material so you can start working on that. We're going to begin in this moment. And then you're going to be showing us what you're doing so that you can continue doing it at home after we finish the, the meeting. Okay, but we want to get started in this moment. Fantastic. And um, I suggest that before you, before you glue, try several different combinations. In other words, lay it out on a white board uh, or any colored board, really. And, um, and just, or a piece of paper. Could be a you colored a piece, piece of paper. paper. <laughs> Beg your pardon, Mariana? I am using a piece of paper. Great, piece of paper. and. You may ultimately need to make it stiff if you're gonna, um, you know, if you're gonna uh, uh, put it up on a on a sign. <laughs> you could just then tape the paper onto a, a piece of cardboard to make it stiff. Okay. Um, Miss, what do we need to do? Well, you need to look around your junk box or around the house for colorful odds and ends. Lego pieces or hardware or um, uh, popsicle sticks or bottle caps. 
You can easily make um, a uh, an O or the circles in your B from bottle caps. Look, John, I made an M. Oh, let, me, let me spin. Let me spotlight you. Hold on a second. Uh, Brent, can you? Can you spotlight? Oh, right. yeah, yes, yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm, you, I'm cutting. I am cutting this piece of cardboard, this paper too. Nice. And I am obtaining cardboard stripes. This that is what works. I'm doing. And then I did an M. Look, if I put them together. Sweet. I haven't glued them I yet. Great. We can do all the letters that we want. Mechanical garden. Mechanical garden. Let me see what else can I use. Cool. It might be nice if you put some serifs on the bottom of your M that are colorful. Oh, yes, I can do that. <laughs> cool. So you get the idea, guys. Before you glue, uh, before you cut, measure, right? Before can you I have another red glue. One? Uh, yeah, that, that looks good, Seth. I'm cutting papers because I, I only have paper right now. I will look for yeah. more quality junk, but maybe yeah, I can. Yeah. It's really nice what Mariana is doing. I like a lot, guys, because when you mix colors together, then you get two colors that give the impression of, of one color, but it's more, it's more vibrant. It's more alive when you try to make black out of several colors and if you just use plain black. And I have, well, I have these. Let me see how I can. All right. I, I know how. <laughs> Here's my E. All right. Man. That, guys. This is going to be my E. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, here's creativity in action, guys. An architect at work. <laughs> A dancer at work too, right? <laughs> Yay. So I have, I have my E, me. What letter comes next, everybody? C. All right. C, I need to make a C, so I need to find something at home that helps me make a C. I'm looking for it. Let me find something. What can I use? See, I don't know. Okay, so that's what we have to do, boys and girls. We have to look for things that look like a C. Okay, mm. let me, let me, I have an idea. Let me see. And after you get your letters together, then you can start. I know many of you had really nice grass and flowers. Be nice to add to this sign. Um, uh, some grass and, and flowers. And ah, go for a butterfly. I see, Brent. I see some of you hard, hard at work. <laughs> Brent. I found pipe cleaners. Oh. Brent. Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, who's saying Brent? Me. <laughs> you. Say your name. Ian. Ian, okay. <laughs> we need to do the, the saying that it's doing with Mariana? Uh, yes. So we yeah. want to create a sign out of junk. So basically around your house, um, definitely make sure with your parents if it's not your junk. But find stuff like <laughs> tin foil that might be getting thrown away um, from cooking. If it's clean enough, you can bend that into a letter. You can take a straw and wash it off and um, turn it into the letter L. You could take um, anything you find and turn it into letters. Um, like what Miss Mariana did with the, the fork to make it look like an exaggerated cool E, exactly. And you wanna say mechanical garden. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, yeah. Beads can work well. Maybe your mom has 
a bracelet or a, or a set of beads that she could loan you? I have an E. Okay, I will use another paper. Beads, beads are nice because you can, um, you can string them in, in any direction to make a letter, like a pipe cleaner. Easy to bend that. I have something here that I can use. Okay, let me see one. It's a cart milk carton. Because look on the other side, it's like a like a Perfect. shiny. Uh, um, yet it's like a platinum. I don't know. Oh, nice. Oh, that would you were, your letters would really shine on that. Yeah, that's what I I will do. Make them shine with yeah. nail carton. This is creativity and action here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you have done something, boys and girls, you can show us what you're doing. If you have been yeah. at least one letter, who has a letter that can show? Oh, somebody has a letter there. Look, <laughs> who has it? Admiring uh, your garden, Miss Karina. Your garden, your garden is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my real garden. <laughs> I, was, I was loving it. Who has? Oh, uh, it's. it's uh, hold on a second. I got it. We got one here, guys. Yes. Oh, look, somebody Great. did it. That that works. Kuto Menika. <laughs> Show us again. Put it up on the screen. Your M for mechanical. Great. Oh, that's great. great. What are you using? Cardboard? Cardboard. Yes. Okay. What if you look for some uh, a little uh, beads that you could cut up or even uh, small pieces of, of colored paper? and make little dots around the M, make little, uh, paste little dots on the M. Yes. Either beads so or, uh, cool. or stars. stars I, want to show, I want to show mine. I don't know if you can see it from there. Let's see. Yeah, that, we can see. that we can yellow see. would be great if you, if this, you is a, little, this is a, this is a, is this Karina? Oh. Hold on, Hold on a second, mine. Karina. Let me spotlight you. Okay. Whoops, where are we? Hold <laughs> on a second. It's me. It's it's us that has the spotlight. You, Brent. We're looking for Miss Karina. I can't find her here. Got it. Here, here we are. I got okay. it. So great. Oh, oh guys, wow. check this out. This wow. Is, I love it. It's made that. of recycled straws. And then this E is made with a ribbon. Oh, okay. Sweet. sweet. So I like this some, because it's very, very colorful. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, that's my first two letters. I haven't glued them yet because my son is using the glue gun now. So, I'll do that later. Okay. Yeah. Guys, you don't need to make all of your letters with junk. You could be a mixture of, of junk and... John. Yes, who is this? Me, Javier. Javier, hold on a second. Uh, let's, look, let's spotlight you, Javier. Javier. In the Rivera. Grid view, it's easier. I just remembered that. Oh, that, there's an M. Who is that? Javier, okay, nice. It says Edna Rivera, Edna. Oh. That's, that's, that's Edna All right, you there you are. That works, that works okay, good. Very good, very good. Uh, <laughs> try to add some color, try to add some color to your letters. I said, um, eh? Una N. ¿Cómo nos serviría la Emma? Sí, la E. Una E. 
Mientras yo voy decorando la isla Magnus from our fridge, it looks like. Okay. Oh, all right. Nice. Okay, they work. Nice if you can cut out your own letters. Use those as templates and... How can I make an A? I have the M, E, C, H. Wow. wow. Okay. Oh. Así quedaría. Oh, mira más. No, oh, yo, yo sé, yo sé, mamá, mamá, yo sé. Abby, remember to speak English in class, Javier. Ah, yes. Show your mom to speak English too, please. <laughs> Look at this E. Excellent. Oh, excellent. that's an E. That's an excellent E. Nice. I like the way you made it all out of one piece. That's that's clever. Oh, no, John, have you ever used the, the grid view instead of speaker view in Zoom? No. In the top right, you'll yep. see there's a toggle switch. It says there's a, like nine, oh, yeah, nine yeah, squares. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, I got it. Yeah. Oh, it, when, it, when it's the bigger class, you just only two pages to look through. Yeah. But with this, like Regina, for instance, just held something up. I can see Regina, click spotlight, great, and great. zoom right into it. Wow, Regina, that, look at that. Looks Whoa. wonderful. This is that has a Christmas vibe on the M. I like it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is excellent. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Way excellent. to go. Way to go. I love that view, Brent. Yeah. And when you cancel spotlight, you just got to go back into it after you yeah because we'll go back to speaker view by default yeah great yeah i learned that um, like a few weeks ago i forgot to point it out to you oh wow it's phenomenal to see you all working here look at this yes. cardboard cutout looks like foam paper oh dominica that what? looks really cool i do a uh, in Okay. There's an M. Oh, there's an oh. M. Who's, who's is that? Miranda. Okay. Way to go. Way to go. Guys, try to think about uh, color, color coordinating. Make it so that your letter is really going to uh, pop off the, off the paper. So if your letters are white or black, then maybe you want to add a colored paper in the background so hey. that you can tell the difference between the, the letters and the background. Ah. And um, Brent, I don't know if you can Google uh, serif, serif fonts mm -hmm. and um, so see if we can find Example of serif versus serif font, so that I think that oh, I have serifs one. will help them define their letters. All right. So I think a lot of these. Um, this one highlights it specifically. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, can you check out the um, look at the uh, at the Google that Brent is showing? The, the F on the left, to me, looks more playful. So serifs are defined as, um, I think they're defined as perpendicular lines at the end of a line. That makes sense. I mean, I've never realized there was a rule to it, but that's what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> I just knew they all kind of look like that. Please. Um, please. Say your name oh, when nice. you say Miss, please. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. What do you want to show, Rodri? Sean. Oh. What, is, what letter is that? I don't I don't recognize that. Oh like E, Funny. the E? Yes, oh, okay. e. Very nice. All right. And how are you going to mount the E is 
Oh, the, is that a light, Rodrigo? So the E yes. lights up? I love it. All right. Can you show it again, Rodrigo? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I see it. I see it. All right. What I heard about the um, serif fonts also outside just being more playful. Um, I don't know if it's true, but I, I've read that they're easier to read, like for books or there's more data on exactly. the letter. Exactly. So, yeah. If you write a big paragraph, the serif fonts are probably better than the sans serif. Sans serifs might look more clean. That can also make them look more boring. Everything okay. has a use somewhere, but if we're trying to be playful. Definitely make us okay. Wow, you're productive, Mariana. Here we are. It, I already have my M E C H A N. I haven't pasted them yet, so that's you, yeah. why you can't. Yeah. But I, I, I need more space, so I'm trying to figure out how am I going to continue. <laughs> um, Guys, this makes sense. Uh, what Marianne, what Miss Mariana is doing right now is not gluing them first, which if she decides she wants to move a letter or adjust it, it's easier to do that if you don't yeah. glue it and you place yeah. it. And you could also glue each letter onto a little square piece of paper first and then put them together like their own pieces. That's, that's, that's a great a idea. idea. I that's like a, that idea. Thanks. That's a great idea, Brent. Thanks. I met this guy when I was in high school who taught me about um, modular design. <laughs> I think his name is John. <laughs> I live by it. <laughs> Mauricio wants to show something. Mauricio. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I didn't spotlight. Mauricio. Uh, I think Mauricio froze. I'm trying to spotlight him, but it's not zooming in. It looks like his cam feed froze. Yeah, I don't know it looked like a really cool looking letter I with like a little, I think it was a bead on top of something. Something happened to Mauricio's video. It's, it got like, maybe his internet is not working. Fine. Okay, I've made some more letters that I want to show you. All right. If you can see them. Let's see. Miss. Oh, wait, look at that. There we go. Miss. Oh. Okay, I'll show you the A. This is letter A. Okay. I don't know which way. Yep. This is a. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Okay. Just a tube. A, a it's a, yeah. Where yep. you put the wires in for building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. And look at, look at the eye. The what I found for the eye. Oh, let's see. Nice. Miss, Miss Yo. Okay, and the end, I did the end with, with dry leaves. Look. Oh, it's dry leaves. Beautiful, beautiful. They're dry leaves for the from the garden. Okay. Miss Karina. Yes, yes, Karina. Look, my E. Okay, let's see. What did you yes. do it with? Yes. Oh, that's a fork, right? That's the piece of a fork? Yes. Nice. Right. Nice. Hey, hey. Now be really careful when you cut that fork. Cut it away from your eyes. Yeah. Yes, it jumps up to your it, eyes. It will shoot off My mom. Your mom did that. Great. Um, Miss Karina. Anything stiff? Be sure you cut it away from all eyes. I like said Miss Karina, say that. your name, please. <laughs> Rafa Pardo. Rafa Pardo. Okay, who are you? Uh, what are you using to cut those letters? Mechanical, the one that is using foamy. Ah, uh, foamy. Yes, but who? Um, do you have like a model before you cut your letters? Can you show me what you're using? Uh, 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 or are you trace? How do you trace them first? Or do you already have the letters done? Because the idea here is to create create your own ideas. I don't want you using only letters that have already been done. 
Um, the idea is to use material and create your own letters, okay? So it's good to have maybe one or, two, one or two of those letters and then create your own letters, okay? Perfect. And remember, uh, Rafa, to put your name, I don't want to see Ninja there. Remember how we change names? So please put your name there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Rafa. I found an ale. Look at my ale. I found another little straw. Yeah. Oh, the ones that bend. <laughs> so it's a perfect That's ale. That's a I perfect like. ale. <laughs> it's nice. Miss Karina. Yes. Is that Miranda speaking? No? Who was that? Paulina. Paulina, okay, Paulina. So, um, Paulina, wow. Can I, can I, um, um, oh, look at this. I love it. You took that Beautiful. Wow. To, this is excellent, guys. It's excellent. I like it because it's colorful. Very nice, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mariana and Karina, did, yes. um, do we want to set yeah. up for the next class? Miss Karina? Yes. Uh, my I think e we should say, Miss Karina, e is close me I say, make a E. e. Miss Karina. Yes, Jose, tell me. This is the last one we're going to show because we have to get ready to leave. Let me see, that's your M, right, Jose Carlos? Jose Carlos is showing, if you can see him. <laughs> yes, he sent him made of rubber bands. Wow. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I never would have thought of that. Everybody else, microphones off. Everybody else except for the Microphones off now. Wow, that's, that's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Love it. Very nice, Jose. Very, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Miss. Miss. Yes, Rodrigo. Oh. Nice. Okay, listen, children. That's beautiful. Now, wow, very creative. Now, listen, kids. I want microphones off because I can hear voices from all other classes around. Thank you. Now let microphones off. Miranda. Ian, please microphones off. Everybody, Rafa, microphones off. Rodri. Because we have to we have to conclude the class and tell you what you need to do. Now listen. And we have three things to do. Number one. Finish our mechanical garden sign. Number two, prepare our story or song or poem, whatever you want to do. Prepare it. We're going to work together to write it down. Find the who, when, what, where, remember why. And then we're going to record the video with the sign telling the story of our mechanical garden. And of course, showing our garden. We have to create the whole story, the complete story. There are three things to do. Is that clear, kids? Thumbs up if you get the idea. Thumbs up. Okay, show me your thumbs. Your reaction. So, microphones off and let's hear what John and Brent have to tell us before we close the meet. Thank you, John. Okay, well, we're, we're uh, having seen what you've done with your letters and your garden and your bird flapper, uh, we're really looking forward to posting your videos in our Hall of Fame. So, fun building with you guys. To be Thank continued. You, Thank you, Brent. Thank you very welcome. much. You're welcome. Yeah, great work, everyone. Really love Thanks what you guys so are much. making. Yeah. So, 
to, before we say goodbye, Brent, can you show your screen and play a little bit? Because they love watching what you do. With your There's spaceship. somebody behind you, Brent. You're in, in the universe. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. I think it's next to him. Look at that. You mean play? I'm in a spaceship. <laughs> and you're right. You got a visitor. He's oh, in your right. Oh my God. He disappeared. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so in uh, 10, uh, 10 minutes or so, the next group will start. Okay, so let's say goodbye, everybody. Continue your work. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye, John. Bye, Bye, Bye Brent. Bye, Karina. Bye bye. Let's close it and open a new one again. So we close the room and open it again. Bye. Yes. Bye okay. bye. Bye. Bye, Miss Mar Karina. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Have fun building. Bye. 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 Bye.